Hello, darling. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you're sub for sub, please leave a comment and a like. Now for the video. Hello, darlings. So, Roseanne from Miss Classy Nail Design, she actually sent me some beautiful red acrylic. And I mean bright red, like popping red, bam, red in your face. Because, um, you know, sis needed a little pick-me-up over here because... Um, you know, ordering and deliveries and dealing with companies and whatnot. And she also sent this beautiful black glitter. And I love it. Thank you, sis. Mwah, mwah. I'm going to leave her links down in the description box. So if you want to go check her out, those will be down there. So here's the unboxing. I mean, there wasn't really much to it. It actually came in a, in a package this time instead of just having a label stuck on it. Different stores, you know, not the same people sending it. But anyways, the magnet I showed was pretty strong. You get the 290 polishes, a top coat, a base coat, a matte top coat, and a black. And the instructions, the first time I showed it, it was only half of it. So it's basically the same as any other instructions, you know, safety directions, how to prepare your nails, ingredients, um, troubleshooting ideas, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it does come in multiple languages. <laughs> so there's, there's a bit in there for everybody. Um, and it also comes with the, the magnet, you know, with the rectangle and then the circle on the other end. Now, some of these bottles were in there so damn tight, it was like pulling teeth to get them out. <laughs> but I finally got it at the end um, and got them all out. So what I had done originally was I buffed, did the base coat, did the black on all the other nails, left this last nail so that I can show you the base coat and how it looks. I mean, we all pretty much know how Model 1's products look and work, but, you know, I want to give it a fair test and whatever. So I was really impatient, and um, I put the black on way too thick, and it started buckling. Like, you can see it on the thumb. That's not just the light. That's actually, like... It didn't cure properly because I put too thick of a layer on it. But honestly, I had another nail do it as well. And I did two very thin layers and it still did it. So I don't know if it's just the black polish that came with this set or what the deal was. Um, but I'm going to give you a closer look of a buckled one. Now, do you see? So see how it's like bumpy like that? Like it's not sticking and it'll just it'll peel off basically you can't put anything on top of it and there's still wet product underneath so that's what it looks like I slowed this down so you could actually see and that was with me buffing and putting the base coat on so imagine if that wasn't the case and I was just putting it right over the plastic it would have peeled off like peel off so <laughs> and it's not supposed to be so I don't know if it's because I'm not used to working with such thick polishes or, like I said, I was impatient to get to the good stuff, so I just kind of slathered it on there. But at least you can see what had happened. Now, with these, I was not able to get the black hole effect like they show in the video and in all the little ads and all that shit. I just couldn't get it. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the angle of the magnets that you're using. At first, I thought you had to use a stronger magnet, but, um, I was able to do it with two of the rectangle ones. Um, and by the way, that is falling over because the magnets are being attracted to each other. So I tried to do it on one of these, but the angles were even worse. So if you put your nail on the stand while you're trying to do it, it won't fall over because those magnets are already connected together. So, you know, the outside draw doesn't matter. Where when it was just standing on the paper towel, it was getting drawn to the magnet that was I was trying to use to create the effect. 
So with this part, I wanted to keep it real time because I just wanted to show you exactly what I did and how long it took and all that jazz. So I actually was watching a tutorial. It was about not even a minute. I will link that down below too. But you see as I get to the nail, I mean the, the side of the nail, it turns black, but then you get that like bright line. That's what you're looking for. Like when it first turns black, that's not enough. You gotta get that bright line to pop up. And that's when you're gonna actually be moving the magnetic parts of it. So you come up from the bottom like I was just doing you know, kind of from underneath, and then you just raise it up just a little bit to get it black on both sides so that you have like a wide cat eye strip down the middle. Um, and then this is, is where the um, magic comes in, I guess. This you leave um, straight up and down. Now the one at the tip is at a 20 degree angle, like almost flat. So what you do is you take the magnet in the back to make a black line and then you take the one in the front at the 20 degree angle and draw them together at the same time. Now this is the double eye effect. It's not the black hole. The black hole looked similar but I'm not sure about the angles and I had already been at this for quite a while so I kind of put the black hole on the back burner. Now, I wanted to try to do a two-color um, double eye, you know, with the pink and the blue or red, whatever you guys see. I was talking to my dad, and he's colorblind and sees colors very, very strangely. So, it's like I have to adjust my thinking when I'm talking to him. Um, but for whatever reason, it just wasn't coming together for me. I don't know if it's because I just got so tired. Um... And, you know, when I get tired, I start making mistakes and everything like that. So I just kind of reset it a few times. It didn't work out. And um, I just went for the opposite of the black hole, really. I just put the round magnet right in the middle of the two colors in the middle of the nail so that the whole outside is colored and then the inside is black. I mean, it's not as cool as having that ring of color in the middle. But I wanted to show a few different designs. I didn't want to just do the same design on all five nails. So I'd also like to say welcome halfway through the video, right? <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you are still watching, thank you. Um, I'm so happy and so blessed with all the friends and nail sisters that I have made. And, um, you know, I'm past a thousand subscribers but I don't have anywhere near the watch time. So I know a lot of my nail sisters have been really helping me out, um, you know, putting them on, putting my videos on while they're cleaning or even while they run errands and they're not even home. Um, I do my reciprocal watch time, like, you know, watching other people overnight, like while I'm sleeping um, because my dad's tablet broke. So... He's using my laptop during the day, and then at night I let it play with my nail sisters. Um, so thank you, everyone that's been doing watch time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. If I haven't let you know that I've done watch time for you, shoot me a DM or leave something in the comments, and I will get you on the list because I don't want anybody to be left out, especially since you're going out of your way to help me. So... Okay, with this design, I just wanted it to be really simple. I wanted to see how these would look matte because they do put the matte top coat in there, which is not a normal thing, I think. Most kits, they'll do the base coat and the top coat. The, the matte top coat, not so much. So this kit I got on Amazon. I do have a 10% off code for this kit from this particular store on Amazon. So all the links will be in the description box. It is for USA only. I'm sorry, my international ladies. I love you, but I'm trying to figure a way to get get it worked out <laughs> so that, um, you know, there can be something special for you ladies too. Um, there is also um, 
review opportunities. I will have that link in the description box as well. Um, that is USA only also. And I just want to say if you do decide to do the review thing, once you click that link, I don't have anything to do with it. So, you know, I don't, I don't know how it's going to go or anything like that, but I can't help you with it once you do that. So just keep that in mind. It's not anything shady. It's legit. Um, you know, it's not anything like that. It's just, um, yeah, I haven't actually done it through that. So I don't, I don't have the personal experience, but this company or this store on Amazon is a very good store. So, um, I wouldn't have put it, I won't put it out there if I would been, if I was concerned about it. So, yeah. I also want to give a special thanks to Catherine, um, you know, Catherine Ford. She did a wonderful nail set of, um, Dracula nails. Um, and she dedicated them to me, which I thought was so sweet and so awesome. Um, to me, they looked like teeth, like, um, you know, I don't know if any of you are horror fans, but the Sci-Fi Channel had this horror series called, um, Channel Zero, and, like, the first season was, there was, like, this guy made of teeth or something, and he was, like, eating the kids' teeth that they left under the pillows, um, in the town, and all this crazy shit, but anyways... <laughs> It made me think of that, even though, I, you know, I got exactly where she was coming from with the whole, um, you know, like she was saying in her video, they, um, like, haven't eaten in a hundred years and have been buried underground and clawed their way up. It's a cool set, and I was really, really touched by it, so thank you so much. Mwah. And those, and her links will be in the drop-down box as well. Okay, now with this nail, what I wanted to try to do was, um, I wanted to cut the colors on the diagonal so that it was two-toned, and, um, you know, I wanted to take the magnet, the circle end, and put, like, a half circle, like, on the bottom on one side and on the top on the other. I wasn't really sure how it was going to come out, um, because of the two-tone, because I feel like, um, Part of the reason that the thumb didn't work had, had something to do with like the line between them between them i don't know how true that is um because i've seen other people do it that way and they were able to do it fine so it could have just been because i was so tired already that you know i wasn't putting things right where they should have been but i do like the way that this one turned out Okay, so this is pretty much the last design. I really had fun playing with this. I was a little frustrated that I wasn't able to get the black hole thing going, but I feel like sometimes when you learn when you learn things through YouTube, you miss some particular point of the process that is very simple to whoever is doing it. But to people trying to learn, they don't know that. And, you know, there, so there's that barrier there. Another hard thing with these polishes is because they change when you move them, it's a little hard to differentiate between, you know, what you are trying to do and, you know, what's actually happening. But I think it's just a, a learning curve as far as that goes. Now, this set is $26.99 on Amazon. If you're in the USA, you could use the 10% off code, or if you're interested in the review option, you can go that way as well. Um, I think it's a little bit pricey, to be honest, uh, especially for someone who has an established gel polish collection already. I mean, Model 1s is great. The products are wonderful. You know, I enjoyed it, but it comes with all that extra stuff that you might not necessarily need, so... It's up to you whether you would want to buy it or um, try to buy them separately, but I hope you at least enjoyed watching the video and watching me fool around a little bit so that you could see um, exactly what's going on with what. So this is it, final, final picture. <laughs> the one on the end, the pinky finger, that's with the mat. No magnetic stuff done to it. 
just the painted strips with the mat on it. All the other ones are magnetic designs. Um, and I also noticed these don't really show like two color things like they do in the pictures. Like I'm only seeing a bluish purple and a pink. But when I was taking pictures, like still pictures, I was able to see the other color that they do advertise. So I don't know if it's just because my light is not bright enough or what, but those colors are in there. So um, anyways, don't forget to check the links of the two ladies I mentioned, uh, Miss Catherine uh, Ford and Miss Classy Nail Design. And like I said, the 10% off for the people in the USA or the review, all those links and the code will be down there for you. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. And thanks again. Mwah.